Hello again and welcome to my vision uh, series and we're talking about what an apostolic center is all about and what an apostolic resource center is all about. Uh, we've looked at the fact that it's an equipping center. We've looked at, you know, the fact that it's a place where communities are developed. And uh, we've also um, uh, tried to get us to understand that we're not talking about something that is different from a church. Indeed, you know, churches can reposition into being, you know, apostolic um, centers. All that, you know, would require is that our programming, our departments, you know, are, you know, slightly adjusted to accommodate the communities that we represent. So I would like to look at the fact that apostolic centers are impartation centers. And again, remember, you know, there is uh, no difference, it's not a question of either or, and we're not making a case for something that replaces church, not at all. We're making a case for something, you know, that is positioned in cities, you know, to help the body of Christ develop into a territorial army. So it is not an either or situation, but an either or complete. Uh, ministry. So apostolic centers, the focus is usually, you know, taking territories. This focus is advancing the great commission. And that's not to say that's not the focus of churches. Remember that. And we're not going to be friends. So what it is, an impartation center. Ap uh, apostolic centers are impartation centers. The teaching thrust is usually different from church. And that is to be so. Because I believe very strongly that a church, like a family, uh, setting has to take care of every need and not just some needs. So apostolic centers are more specialist in their impartation, you know, um, dimension. And um, as an impartation center, if you look at Acts chapter 18, you know, Paul was in Corinth, you know, for 18 months. And while in Corinth, he met up, he met Aquila and Priscilla, who were tent makers. They were in his trade. So these were marketplace people. And he began to work with them and was able to also fulfill ministry in the synagogue. He preached every Sabbath, you know, in the synagogue. And he happened to be there for 18 months. When discouragement came, the Lord spoke to him in a vision and says, Don't fear. I sent you to that territory. God knew that there would be you know, opposition. So I sent you to that territory to build a prototype, if I just put it that way. And he says, I have many people in the city. So apostolic centers are usually, you know, in my opinion, developed, you know, around the community that they're planted. And the focus has to be the need of that community. It does not have to, you know, initially uh, bother itself with taking the entire city. I believe that the influence of apostolic centers grow organically and the Lord determines their spheres. That is my opinion, and that is my experience in bu building the Apostolic uh, Resource Center that I have been you know, part of developing for going up to 10 years now. So remember, Apostolic Centers are impartation centers. The teaching is such that there has to be paradigm shift. The teaching and the anointing of the house, you know, in a specialized way, produces a particular type of people who become a community. And as a community, they become an army. And then they become a territorial army that that particular region, that space, that territory, that sphere that they have been, uh, that it's been planted in, begins to look like heaven. It's got to look like heaven that the territorial powers begin to respond to the anointing in the apostolic center. So we're now ready for point number four. Thank you.